there's a lot of media buzz going around these specific segments and uh, you don't see any other industry uh, to be of such an interest of the media right now. And this is also the reason why it's so difficult and confusing to understand these business models. Uh, but uh, I think there are basic patterns you have to know about. And uh, the basic patterns refer to critical mass of users being able to grow, uh, being able to monetize your users and being able to defend your business as a unique positioning. Uh, think, for instance, about how Google was able to develop its search engine and how effectively they did it, uh, not only by using the advertising model, but also some kind of intent-based advertising model. You search something, you find it, and you'll find also the advertising. Uh, this is proving to be difficult, for instance, for other companies and challenges like Bing by Microsoft to get into the industry, to come up with results, and in any way to challenge the big incumbent, since it is becoming a standard for the access to the web. Uh, Francesco, the big buzzword for the digital world right now is value, and how do you get value out of these businesses? What would you say is being done right now that's right and wrong? What I see, or what I think uh, they should be sticking to, is basically uh, four principles which are needed to develop a successful business model. First one being growth, and this is pretty obvious because we are talking a lot about growth in these business model, and to reach a critical mass as well. A uh, second point would be to build user participation, so making sure that your users are the first ones to attract other users and that they participate in the service provisioning of your offering. Third point would be to be able to link different markets and user communities and to be able to charge for it. So think for instance about the advertising market, it works like that. Or for instance, matching up different user communities like in the LinkedIn case and being able to, to charge certain communities for it. And fourth one would be obviously to try to defend your business by exploiting winner take all dynamics, locking in users, locking out competition, and in the medium term, try to follow up uh, the uh, achievement of economic rents by having a unique positioning. There are so many options out there right now for these kind of businesses and how they bring in value, how they generate value. If you had two key bits of advice to give to any of the managements of these companies, what would that be? You have to feel free to experiment and to try out different choices. Uh, second advice would be think and act as a global company. There's no way to build up a market in the digital environment without thinking about the global market, even if you're focusing on segmented local markets as part of your business model. Think, for instance, about Groupon. They did a local-based business model, but they choose to grow very quickly at a global level. And this would be the only option to scale up and to be sustainable maybe in the future. All right, Francesco, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.